Welcome back, everybody. Today we're here to talk about Shazam, the new DCEU film uh, introducing a new character that we have not seen on screen yet. And it was a very exciting and fun movie. We're going to get deep into it. It's not a perfect movie. I have some issues with it. We're going to get into all that in this video today. This will be a spoiler-free review, so no worries about that. But with that being said, let's get started. All right, so Shazam is about a foster kid named Billy Batson who's having a tough time because he's going from you know foster family to foster family and uh, having a rough time adjusting to each family and he's kind of an independent person um, and one day he has an encounter with a wizard that many people all around the world has been having encounters with who wants to give somebody his special powers and Billy Batson finally gets the powers and he transforms into the superhero Shazam played by Zachary Levi and Zachary Levi is definitely the best part about the movie he is perfect casting as Shazam I read this story that they looked at over like a hundred people like a hundred actors are testing for Shazam and the moment they saw Zachary Levi they knew right away the director knew right away this is perfect because he definitely sells the whole like grown up who's actually a kid aspect which is very important he does a great job with that and I liked how he dealt with this whole change like I liked how his character was more fond of being an adult rather than a superhero which is super hilarious also because first of all the kid Billy Batson like he wasn't into all that superhero type stuff his foster brother uh, played by Jack Dylan Grazer who was amazing I will we'll talk more about him later on but I liked how his character was doing things that a teenager would most likely do if they suddenly became an adult and I just thought it was that part Part was also very funny how he was definitely more interested in being an adult than a superhero and I thought that made the story more better and realistic in a way because I know a lot of kids always say they want to be superheroes but the moment you become a superhero what is there actually to do like this movie made fun of that you know because they figured out this dude was a superhero they figured out his superpowers and then after that there's like no villain just yet so they're like okay what do we do now and what do they do they go okay you're an adult let's go buy some beer and you know go to strip clubs or whatever so I thought that was hilarious and the movie does tease the whole superhero genre like quite a bit there's a whole sequence at the end which I'm not going to talk about because I want everybody to experience it for themselves in case you haven't seen the movie but if you've seen the movie you know what I'm talking about like I was almost about to stand up and start clapping when they did this because I was like thank you nobody has ever addressed this in a superhero movie and I just love Shazam for doing it and since we're talking about the comedy in the movie yeah this movie is definitely one of the funniest um, superhero movies ever I would say definitely the funniest uh, DC CEU movie I will say that for certain and I kind of find myself saying that a lot you know every year like I feel like studio superhero movies like the big ones they get more and more funny each and every single movie like for the DCEU like early on it, they w it wasn't really that funny and then Aquaman got a little bit more funny and you know uh, Wonder Woman was even a little funny then Aquaman was a lot funnier and then now Shazam is like almost like a straight up comedy and back to Jack Dylan Grazer he was hilarious in this movie he plays Billy Batson's uh, foster brother who's like an expert in the whole superhero thing so he was helping Billy throughout his journey as Shazam um, and he was up to par with Zachary Levi like the chemistry between them uh, the chemistry was great and this kid like a lot of people know him from the movie it he was great in that too and he's definitely a talent and he was great in the movie I, and I know we were just talking about comedy but not doing a complete 180 this movie is also very scary which makes sense because it's directed by David F Sandberg who pretty who made like he is a horror director like all of his movies are pretty much horror movies and this is his first superhero uh, light type movie and I think it was perfect because there is a, a definitely a horror element to Shazam and you know Dr. Savannah we're going to talk to you in a little bit you know this whole underground type thing there's definitely a horror element to it and I like how they brought on this horror director obviously this film is produced by Warner Bros who also makes like the Annabelle movies and lights out and stuff like that so it makes sense why they would want to bring a director like him on board because I'm sure they knew he would do a great job which he did and I thought David Sandberg's like horror direction was great because there are a couple of sequences uh, and shots one in particular that kind of turned this movie into like a straight up horror which I again personally did enjoy I thought it was it made sense for the character and what was going on with the villain which we're gonna get to in just a second uh, but I thought it worked well and I thought the horror part of the story was needed and they executed it pretty well the villain let's talk about the villain because I keep talking about him throughout the review but I haven't fully talked about my thoughts on him and overall I thought it was a weak villain and it's really my main and only issue with the movie and it is a big issue because the villain in the movie is pretty much the second most important character 
but I did think he was a weak villain. I mean, they definitely fleshed out his character throughout the movie. Like, he had a good amount of screen time, but I just didn't buy it. You know, I did not like the backstory and how he became who he was. And I don't know, it just didn't sit well with me because it was super far-fetched and almost like unbelievable, really. But I didn't really... The reason it didn't really make a big impact for how I felt about the movie was because this movie really isn't about the villain. It's about Billy Batson and introducing this character. And I think that's why Black Adam wasn't the villain in the movie because I think he's um, a much more prominent villain who, if they put him in the in the introduction movie, you know, not the sequel, I think it would have uh, taken away from what this movie's purpose was and that's to introduce Billy Batson and Shazam. So I think that's why they saved Black Adam for the sequel because it's more that the sequel is going to be when Shazam is doing more superhero stuff and not at only introducing him. But for a movie that's only in, like introducing a character, um, I didn't mind Dr. Savannah that much. But if you actually look at him as a character and, you know, separately, he definitely had a weak, um, he's definitely a weak character. And it could be like a personal preference because I personally did not believe the story they set up for him. But other than that, I enjoyed this movie a lot. This is what a fun superhero movie should be, you know. Um, it does a good job of balancing everything also. Like I said, there's some horror to it. Not too much, not too little. It's a perfect amount. Um, there's also like a good story involved with the whole foster home thing. I loved it so much. It's super heartwarming and sweet. The kid actors were all solid. Um, the parents were also really good. To the Walking Dead fans out there, Cooper Andrews is in this movie who plays Jerry. Um, he plays like a very likable dad and he was perfect for the role. Um, and just like the whole, like the whole, I, I really love that whole aspect of the story, you know, seeing Billy Batson go from, you know, having a tough time finding a family to finding this family. I just love it so much. But with that being said, let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions about the movie. If you've seen it, did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you like about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating and for more movie reviews, just like this, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later.